Now, I grew up on a street uh, where there were seven Gold Star families from World War II, and it was a war that changed this country, the direction of the country, I, I think much more so than September 11th did, because the foundation of this country moved in a different direction, a more progressive direction because of the war. But the big thing about the war is we now communicate through cell phones and we have a million cable channels and the internet gives us access to everything no matter where we live but world war ii was the connecting tissue the connecting fiber of this country for many many families mm -hmm. and john meacham uh you've written about the culture of this country about the about the culture of our politics and how it's changed but one thing we had then that we don't have now that the two men who you are going to see later today symbolize is a sense of national service that began in conflict in the war but that has sort of dissipated over the years I think to the detriment of this country totally agree and I think that they uh, they as you say they, they were they came of age doing this uh, George H.W. Bush was 20 years old he could not vote he could not vote in a presidential election when he was flying his mission over Chichijima on Saturday, September 2nd, 1944, and was shot down out of the sky, losing two crewmates. Uh, he won the Distinguished Flying Cross. He thinks about it every day. He asked the question, why was I spared? I think to some extent his life has been a headlong pursuit of trying to justify to some extent that he was spared when others were destined to die. If you look at Senator Dole, a man who lost the uh, use of his r right arm, uh, he told me last night that he still has sensory problems with his left hand. When he puts his hand in his pocket, he can't tell the difference between a dime and a quarter unless mm -hmm. he looks at it. This is a man who bears the wounds of this struggle in an incredibly personal way. This is not virtual reality. This is the reality that shaped the world. It led America to global uh, status. And it's a, an enormous legacy, I think, to all of us, and a very solemn reminder on a day when we commemorate the 2,000 soldiers, sailors, who died at Pearl Harbor, the 1,700 who were wounded, just at the beginning of that immense conflict. I mean, we should remind ourselves all the time that we're the children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren now of that sacrifice, and we should be...